what is up everybody? St. R. Edwards here. Welcome back to the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for Everyone. Listen, congratulations. We are on Unit 2. If you made it this far, believe me, it is a big accomplishment and I'm very proud of you. Somebody else wants to say something to you too. He goes by the name of Post Malone. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah, congratulations again, guys. So unit two, we're going to talk about strings in this lesson. We're going to talk about how to declare strings. We're going to talk a little bit about variables and constants here in the beginning. We're going to talk about the escape character, and we may even get into a little bit of the uh, string in string interpolation and concatenation. All right, and we'll get into that in a little bit. I know I can barely say it, but you'll get it when you see it. All right, so go ahead and open up a new playground and save it to your desktop or you could save it to your projects folder as we've been doing. We're gonna start off by talking about how to declare a string, how to declare a variable, and how to declare a constant. In case I wasn't clear before, a constant is immutable. So when you use the let key, you are unable to change that into something else. You would have to then declare a new constant if you you know if you want to use like a different name or something like that so so just know that but variables are mutable so you can change variables so we'll do something like this so you can do let my name and you can use your name obviously and we'll just say ski my name is ski and then we'll say variable we'll create a variable we'll say var my area equals Bay Area my area all right so I'm in the I'm in the Bay Area right now all right so what we'll do now and we'll, is, is we'll try to change my name let's see what we we'll, see what happens we'll say my name now equals uh, dr. Eric Thomas Note one let you cannot assign to value my name. It's a let constant. So yeah, we can't do that. So like I said before, it's immutable. Cannot change that bad boy. All right. But we can change my area. So let's say my area. Come on, work with me now. Now equals LA. or SoCal is what they call it here, SoCal. All right, LA. So now it's LA, as you can see over here in our right panel. All right, cool, got that. Next, we'll talk about uh, multi-line uh, strings. So you could do something like this. If you had a, you know, a string to where it was multiple lines, so we'll say something like this. We'll say let joke equals what you do is you do three quotation marks in the beginning and you do three at the end. So we'll do this. So we'll say Q, why did Travis not roll down the window? Answer, he did not want to let out the antidote. There we go. So we'll do this. Three quotes in the beginning and three quote three quotation marks in the beginning, three quotation marks at the end. And Swift is smart enough to know not to include the quote unquote white space that's you know that's between it. Um, you know, everything that's on this line, the rest of this line, and and also before it. So for instance, if we print it out. Didn't want to do that. Print joke. You'll see it down in the console and it'll print just like we wrote it. So why did Travis not roll down the window? He did not want to let out the antidote. All right, cool. Next, we'll talk about using the escape character. Now the escape character is just one backslash. 
So let's say, for instance, if you had a string and you wanted to include quotes, right? So this is what you'll do. So we'll say, let wise words equal, and we'll, we'll do the quote there. And we'll say, imagination is more important than knowledge. All right. Okay. So we so we got that, and then we'll say Einstein. Einstein. And we also have to put it here. All right. There we go. Okay, so let's print this out. Print wise words. We'll see how that comes out. Look at that. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Maybe I should include a period. All right, there we go. Bam, Einstein. So that's the escape character. It's just one, it's one backslash, all right? And, and you say, and it's called the escape character because you're escaping the string, you know, really. So you can even add on to that. Like if you, if you wanted to put something in the middle of a string, it'll be like this. So let's say, um, we'll say let tradition equals, uh, it is tradition to print the Hello, world statement. And programming languages. All right. So it is tradition to print the hello world statement in programming languages. So we escaped it, right? So we so we're escaping this string. So we got. Um, you know, the backslash here are quotation marks that surround in this string, a, a backslash here and another quotation mark, and statement in programming languages. Okay, so let's print this out and see how this looks. Print tradition. And down here in the console, you can see it is tradition to print the hello world statement in programming languages. Cool, got that. And that's how you would do it in the middle of a sentence. All right, the next thing we'll talk about is, you know, different properties in strings. So say for instance, if you were designing an app to where somebody had to log in, they had to use their username and password, right? Well, strings are very cool because, you know, they have a lot of different properties that you can access once you create one. And say for instance, like if the user had to actually have a username before they logged in, you could do something like this. So let's say let user username equals. So you can set the initial value um, to you know for it to be empty, right? So we'll so we'll keep it empty for now, and then we'll do this. We'll say if username dot and once you hit the dot you'll be able to access different things. So we'll say is empty. So it's a bool. So this is a bool property. It says a Boolean value indicating whether a string has no characters. So if it if it is empty, we'll say print. We'll say please enter a user name. Bam, down here at the bottom it says it please enter a username. But what if we put something in between these quotation marks? Let's do something. It doesn't get called, right? No, because something is in there. You know, that's the power of this language. All right, the last thing we'll talk about in this video is we will talk about the last thing we'll talk about in this video is single characters. 
So in the Swift programming language, strings are more important than the type character. So the type string is more is more used and you know more popular than the type character. But if you wanted to use, you know, say just one letter um, in your code for for whatever reason, and you wanted to be of type character, you have to declare that. You, you have to you have to make sure you state that implicitly, and and let Swift know that it should be a type character. I'll give you an example. So we'll just say let a equals what up. Now, once you hit option and you and you scroll and, and you click on a, it's gonna say that it's a type. It's a type string. You see that? See, it's a type string. But we, but we really want a to be a character. So you have to you have to tell Swift, hey, I really want this to be a character instead of a string. And now, obviously, you know it's gonna be a character. All right, cool. Or you can put a as a. I mean, that makes more sense. So yeah, and there you have it. So that's it for this video. Thank you for joining me. In the next video, we'll get into concatenation and string interpolation. All right, take care.